so hello there my fellow developers and today in this video we are going to learn about lists <clears throat> okay so we are going to learn about lists in this video what are lists how are they used what is their syntax basically we are going to cover those things so before we get started make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to not miss anything so let's get started hey guys so when i launched the, the pipe jam this tip of the day came up where i can see it's written it uh, control d in the editor duplicates the selected block or the current line when no block is selected that's great so it duplicates the selected block or the current line when no block is selected uh, i like these kind of uh, tips so I keep them on so we are going to use this thing so let me put a comment here use the control D control plus D shortcut okay so I'm going to keep this comment I'm not going to leave it so first of all let's see what are this uh, imagine that you are analyzing someone's name okay so there are five people okay let's say there are three people okay and you want to store their names inside of a variable so let's say uh, basically if you have for example so if you have the, uh, those people's names so what you will do for example name one equals max and now we are going to duplicate this okay so we are going to use control d d again same thing so we are just duplicating it okay name two and name three okay so this one will be florin and this one will be the code that we saw in the previous video so uh, these are the names of youtubers so basically florin pop okay i'm telling about florin pop and the code so basically what you do is you store their names in a variable okay so three variables for three names does it because they belong to the same categories why are you creating one two and three variables for each name so let's take a look at a shorter way that we can use it so what you can do is now if you will be wondering that how i just did this okay i just used control and then backspace and if i want to go back like this and if i say control to do that notification i'm sorry let me make the sound over okay so that's so the volume is zero now so that's great okay now you have the these three names but instead of doing that if you store them inside of one variable how would that work okay, so let's create a variable called names okay and this names variable will have these square brackets now if you are uh, a programmer of another language like C sharp, Java, JavaScript, C++ or any other similar programming language like that you will notice the same syntax as arrays okay so lists in Python are same as arrays but we are going to use lists as our term okay so we are going to store these three names okay inside of this um, inside of this list okay so the first one will be max the second one will be Florin uh, and the third one will be decode as all of us know and let's get rid of these three variables now okay then. what if I want to print these names I can use the print names but hey wait a minute uh, okay let's right click and let's run scratch but before that I want to show you something that if we use instead of right clicking and going back here and there we should use this uh, shortcut key instead okay so control plus shift plus f10 let's use that to be more productive control shift f10 and that will run our code and you see we get this list but we get these inside of these square brackets these ugly square brackets we don't need that okay we need them separately how can we do that okay so for example if you want the first name if you want max to be get uh, outputted what will you do uh, there is only one way uh, so after that name of that variable okay so this is the variable called names i can use a square brackets notation and then i can enter a number 
zero. So what the zero will do is it will pick up the first element from that list. So let's take a look. Max is the first element. Okay. So uh, in counting in lists, it goes like this: zero, one, and two, and then goes on, goes on, goes on. Uh, so zero. Okay. So zero means that you are picking up the first first. Uh, what do we say? First element from that array, from that list. So control shift F10 and you will get max as the output as you can see. So now, so names index zero, this is called names index zero. So similarly, we can do names index one, control shift F10 to get, uh, get Florian on the terminal. Then uh, second one to so control shift F10 to get the code right there, okay? And if I enter any invalid, thing like this so three doesn't exist it will give me an error and the best thing i like about python is its error handling you know how it gives us the error it's it's just amazing i understand the whole error like this you see the index error list index is out of range okay out of range it uses an it uses a pretty easy language okay so that's how you use an array uh, you use a list <coughs> what's happening okay so that's how you use a list now uh, let's take a look so now you know that uh, if anything is out of the list that is not counted so if you want to modify something let's say if I want to modify max okay so if I want to change max I can do same thing and can say index uh, names index 0 and then equal to and then this uh, the name of the uh, I can change it so for example, if I want to change it to, let's say, Moto, no, let's change it to dev ed, control shift F10, and okay, we are still outputting this. So now let's output zero. So basically I changed it and now it gives me dev ed, okay? And that's how you can modify the lists. Okay, now, Let's take a look at empty lists. So they are also very useful in case if you want to, uh, you if you want an empty list. So for example, if I create a list that will be empty, mm, let's say emp underscore list equals, and then just make it empty, nothing else. So we use the empty list. We use the empty list to just make the list first of all and then add some elements inside it so first uh, very first of all i'm going to separate emp list and if you take a look at the emp list it's empty very very empty and i can rewrite it so i can say emp list is equal to and then i can add some value to it so for example one two and three and then if i just control d this and then put this down uh, i mean cut it and then paste it Okay, and then control shift F10, you will get to see the list again. Okay, so now it's not an empty list. <laughs> okay, so basically that's what, that was about the empty lists. And now if I want, uh, I can put many values inside of a list. So for example, I can create a list called multi underscore tasking underscore, okay, multi tasking, okay, anything like that. So I can enter a string like this, I can enter a number, I can enter a floating value, I can also enter floating value, I can also enter the booleans. And then if I try to print something from inside of uh, this multitasking, uh, multitasking list, so for example, if I put the fourth element, so I, I'm outputting the fourth element, okay? I'm outputting the fourth element and then why am I writing three? Because the count goes like this zero, one, and two, and then three. So this is the fourth element, 2.45. So if I run this code, I am going to get 2.45 as you can see in the console. That's fine. You can use multiple values and you can also modify them, okay? That's what it's all about. Yeah, one more thing. I can also modify strings. Actually, modify means I can also treat them as a list. How can I do that? 
So let's take an example, okay? Let's create a string right there. So I can say example string, example underscore underscore string. I can set it to hello world, hello world. Okay, now I can get a reference to each of the characters inside of this string. So I can just say, I can use the same logic that I used inside of a list. So print example string, oh, I'm sorry, example string, example underscore string, and then if I say index zero, let's take a look, we we'll get h. You see, we get h. Why do we get h? Because this is the first element, okay? h is the first element inside of the string. So the strings can be used same as lists. That's the thing. Okay, now, now that we have learned this much, let's take a look at some more complex things. So I'm going to create a new list, okay? The modern kind of list, okay? So I'm going to create a list. I'm going to say uh, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4. And then another element that I'm going to add is another list. And inside of that list, I'm quickly going to say 5 comma, 6 comma, 7. Now this is a list. Don't mind, it's a list. Okay, so I can say new list. I'm just going to print it first of all for you. So you see, we get the whole list inside on, on the console. Okay, what if I want this uh, to be, this is zero, okay? As you can see, this is one, this is two, and this whole is the three, okay? It's the third, uh, fourth element, but third in terms of list. So if I say, print new list index three and if i run it it will output a list but what if i want an element from that list as well okay so how can i do that just one step ahead okay you just need to put another pair of square brackets and put the number put the index where you which one you want to get out of it so if i want to uh, get the second element from the fourth element inside of new list i can just do that and this one will output five six seven. sorry it will output six okay uh, and i can do the same thing so i'm going to control d this one and i'm going to remove this to show it to you once okay just take a look at it we have five six seven um okay before that let me control d this also and let me get rid of this and now let's run it again and now if you take a look from this list we took out this element okay this one okay from this list we took out this list and from this list we are getting out this one this is very very easy and remember you can do the same thing with strings okay so that's called a substring you can extract another characters from their characters it's it's very very easy so guys now that you have learned a lot from this video we are quickly Oh, no, we are not going to do anything. I am going to quickly give you one simple project or one simple program that you can make. It's not hard. It's pretty easy. So let me get that uh, text right there. So this is the, these are the instructions. So you have to write a program. Okay, so the step one is make a list of five fruits. Okay, so just make a list of five fruits, any five fruits that you want. Uh, then the third fruit, if the third fruit in the list starts with the letter A, then replace it with star fruit. Pretty easy, okay? You can just uh, copy these from the screen. Okay, just copy these, just, just write them down inside of a comment so that you can read them again and again. Or you can also write them inside of the notepad so that it doesn't take you to watch the video again and again. So, if the third fruit in the, la in the list starts with the letter A, then we place it with star fruit. Now, first thing, A must be uh, uppercase and the third element should be starting with the letter A so that we can just determine this, okay? So, I'm quickly going to make that program for you, first of all, and then show, it, show the output to you. So, guys, now you can take a look at this program. So, what I have done 
is I've created a list. You can just follow the same uh, pattern, okay? So you can just quickly write these fruits down if you don't have any other fruits in your mind. So the third element is apple, okay? And then first of all, I am printing this list if you want this is for practice purposes okay so you if you want you can print it if you don't want it, you you can prevent printing it so I'm printing it to show it to you and then I'm printing the third element which is apple and then I'm printing star fruit why am I printing star fruit man I'm checking that if that uh, that if it is apple or oh, I'm sorry that if the first letter of the third element is A, then it's going to replace the third element with star fruit. Okay, so basically, I'm just printing, I'm not just printing the star fruit, I am printing the third element. Okay, and then let me show it to you first of all. So now you can take a look at it. You know, earlier this was the list, this was the third element, now this is the third element and this is the list okay so the third element is modified so you have to make this kind of program now i'm going to give you one hint you have to just take a look at that string uh, that we used okay earlier we used the string uh, we use the same list kind of syntax in strings and you have to use if statement that's what it's all about guys hope you like it share it with others finally Thanks for watching.